Things are sad and scary and hard. When nothing seems like a laughing matter. I threw my back out uh, eating, I think. <laughs> is when we need comedy most. I just tell them eating because I haven't done anything else for four months. We all need a laugh and we've seen every episode of The Office forward and back, you know? <laughs> At this point, I just think it's obvious that uh, America is tanking in 2020 in order to get the number one draft pick next year. <laughs> Tom Simmons is a nationally known comedian from Greensboro who has made a career out of it for more than two decades. We gotta send the kids back to school. My kid can't bring a peanut butter sandwich to school. Now he's allowed to bring COVID to school? <laughs> Isn't this a time where we really need comedy? We need to laugh at ourselves, sort of humanity slipping on the banana peel. Is it tougher now? To be a good topical joke writer, you gotta be, you gotta have no empathy. You gotta be, it's like that's the, a key ingredient for serial killers and topical joke writers, you know what I mean? <laughs> you have to be able to go, oh my God, a bunch of people just died. Well, what's funny about that? Right, because it's not just minorities that racists hate, right? They also hate facts and science. Right? You just catch the brunt of it because they can't yell racial slurs at algebra in a Target parking lot. Right. But even the most successful comics... <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks, this is good. Got some stuff around. ...are finding few venues to perform in during the shutdown. Comedy clubs are not easy to run regardless, and especially the kind of club that I run, which is more of a comedy charity. <laughs> Jenny Stencil runs the Idiot Box in Greensboro. Yeah, yeah, keep clapping while you got hand sanitizer, yeah. But for the last four months, it's been reduced to a few socially distanced comics showing up with masks and notes. What do I got here about that? Oh, yeah. I trying new material on each other. The bills are just adding up. Like, there's no, and there's, there's, there doesn't seem to be any relief coming soon. <laughs> As for how long she can hold on. Did anybody have anything good happen to them this week? Like, Oh. Well, I am now going into my third kid's college education fund, so it's not, not too long. When another local comedian tried to use social distancing as part of the humor, doing a comedy show from a rooftop in Chapel Hill, the joke ended up being on him when it got rained out. Yes, give it up for Caitlin, it's starting to rain. That leaves... Hey, everybody, thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, paying attention to this. Renee, the last vestige of the desperate comic. This stand-up comedy open mic to no crowd, which really kind of defeats the purpose of stand-up comedy. Going online. Couldn't be more awkward, getting no energy from anybody. The modern-day equivalent of the underground resistance. Actually, they've started protesting this week to reopen the state. You know what? They should caption these protests. COVID-19 meets IQ 45. I think it is, too. But maybe this is more than just a guy trying to make a living by making us laugh. Would you say that the comedy is truly therapeutic? I mean, the laughter is the best medicine is the cliche, so maybe it is. The Mayo Clinic has looked at all the research and agrees. Laughter not only relieves your stress, it boosts your immune system. They're like, you can't be out after curfew unless it's essential. Like, sorry, officer, I consider uh, standing up for equal rights essential. <laughs> Which is why Jenny Stencil is going to keep her club open, even though that costs her money. We're going to keep our numbers very low and very safe and try to make 20 people really happy <laughs> and then send them on their way and wipe their seats off after they leave. Um, which means we won't make money for probably another year. Her contribution to society is a spoonful of comic sugar in bitter times. I think we all just have to laugh a little, love a little. Because the alternative is simply no fun. This is going to be like a Tex-Mex place in like six months. I think comedy gives us hope in humanity and ourselves. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News.